how many years has Eco Forum been going now? This is our fourth. We started this this event in um, in 2008 on the Gold Coast, uh, but quits the uh, my partners in this uh, Eco Forum event, uh, and I have been working together since about 1995. And the first of the multi-discipline events that we're involved with was in 2000. Well, it's a challenging market. Um, there is always change. There's always new things coming, as you know. The climate change initiative. There's new water initiatives, and in the waste industry, we're on we're on the cusp of some major changes in waste that have huge impact in in the energy market. It's one thing to have innovation, but if you haven't got anyone developing it or doing anything with it, that's another story. Is there a question that's in your right. mind around that? Not at all, because innovation in its true sense is the ad adaptation of technology from one field to another field to do better. And um, this is what we're seeing. And one of the papers yesterday in the waste management sector was talking about ambitious plans for the City of Sydney that will see waste being used to provide electricity and, um, and energy into the city centre. It's a long history uh, that goes back probably uh, 15 years um, to a time when we tried to stimulate environmental conferences and more than that we wanted multidiscipline environment conferences. Historically there had been just water or just waste or just contaminated land and we wanted to bring together the complete package because they're all integrated, they're all related. You can't treat groundwater and contaminated land without having a waste management problem. And the same with water and wastewater and invariably today climate change is involved in that. So the idea is to present a complete package of all the environment things that we need to manage because of the crossovers to fix up environmental issues. So that is innovation in its truest sense. And again, uh, you know, what we've got around here, it's about supporting the industry and innovation, R&D. A technical manager here is Mark Sentner. Uh, I'm Dr Peter Novella. I'm the lab manager for SGS Special Projects. I'm Rhonda Schumann from MGT Labmark Environmental Laboratories. Well, my name is Maya Sydney, and I have a company called Geo9. I'm Sophie from ERM. We write environmental statements for new developments, sustainability, climate change, uh, corporate risk, contaminated land. Land contamination, groundwater investigation, groundwater well installation. Basically, we look after all environmental drilling. We specialise in monitoring equipment, be it um, gas, water or soil. Is this your first time at EcoForum? Yes, it is. It's my first time. This is our fourth year associated with EcoForum. We're going, we're, we're going up, we're going higher in our focus. We, we actually reflect these very well, water, infrastructure, environment and energy. Famous during the Snowy Mountains scheme, construction, contract mining, uh, we run you know, the coal mines around the country and overseas. The uh, association is interested in fostering the development of uh, the management of land and groundwater in Australia, particularly from a contamination perspective. We do surveys, geophysical surveys, so it's all about identifying where's the best spot to drill without just randomly, you know, without, with minimising the risk involved in drilling. So it's understanding what's happening under the ground. Enos does what in brief terms, Graeme, if you would? Um, we design and make and distribute electronic nose technology. Chemical sensing devices give you patterns of what's in the air, in the environmental monitoring space and also in security. Where do you see the future for you? Kind of protecting Australia's groundwater or ensure that it's it's respected and well used. So so this event is a good opportunity for me to see what people in related areas are doing and for me to meet people in related areas. Good. Um, I think we're now seeing um, sustainability entering the boardroom with people really starting to think about the impacts of um, sustainable development on businesses, particularly with respect to climate change um, and the need to encompass that in, um, in business thinking rather than treating it as an add-on. You know, yes, we, we do have a, a line straight into the people who are making the sustainability decisions on the whole.